Robin Jones Gunn and I wrote the Christy Miller series, the Sierra Jensen series, the College Years and the Katie Weldon series. And during the summer when I was in high school I would often come down here to Newport Beach. I thought it would be fun if I showed you a couple of the places that I had in my imagination when I was writing the Christy Miller books. Some of the places where the characters went, some of the things that happened, the little landmarks and destinations, like the crab cooker right over there. Pretty much Bob and Marty could live in any one of these houses. Tracy, Todd, Doug, all of them. They haven't changed much over all the years. I think that's part of the reason why I wanted to write these books and set them in a place like this because the things that teenagers go through over the years really doesn't change. That sense of wanting to belong and find friends and that's what happens to Christy of course and that's what's still going on with Katie while she's in college in Peculiar Treasures. She's trying to figure out where her relationship is at with Rick and what she should be doing next. Those things never change from generation to generation. I grew up in Southern California and so when I came here with my family a few years ago, right here at this intersection. I made my husband stop the car and I said, this is the intersection where Todd gave Christy the carnations and he kissed her for the first time. It happened right here. And everyone in the car said, mom, it didn't really happen. I said, yes, it did in my imagination. I think it did, it really did. I did not set out to be a writer. I didn't dream of being a writer when I was in second grade. Uh, the girls in our youth group were reading all these books I didn't want them to read. They had checked them out of the library and they were books that put stuff in their 13-year-old hearts that I didn't want them to be holding on to. And so I told them to read something else and they challenged me and said, well, why don't you write books for us? How hard could that be? It was really hard, but I jumped in. It took me two years to write the first book and it was rejected 10 times before a publisher picked it up, and that was Summer Promise. So I started with the Christy Miller series, and then wrote the Sierra Jensen series, and then the College Years, and then the Katie Weldon series. I don't know what's next. These characters just keep on going. I'm on the Balboa Island Ferry, and I wanted to bring you here because I've got a special memory about Katie from the Sierra Jensen books. Do you remember when it was Doug's bachelor party and they dressed him up and put him right here on the Balboa Island Ferry and he jumped in the water and Katie, this is Katie Weldon, that's why I wanted to write about her some more, Katie jumped in the water to see if he was okay. That's the kind of loyal friend Katie Weldon is. I started writing about Katie Weldon because after I was done with Christy and Sierra in the college years, so many girls kept writing to me and said, what happens next? We want to find out about Katie. What happens with her? She's still in college. Does she end up with Rick? I don't know. Let's find out. So I started writing the Katie Weldon book. The first one, Peculiar Treasures. Second one, On a Whim. And the third Katie Weldon book yet to come out is Coming Attractions. having a Balboa Bar moment here, thinking about all the readers I've heard from over the years. Some of them wrote and said that they've done things just like Christy, where they try to eat something and they get it on their face. That's what happened when Christy was here on Balboa Island. I think the reason I keep writing is because I love telling stories, but I also love all those letters I've gotten from you readers over the years. You give me ideas about how the books have touched you and what they mean to you. And that keeps me going. I just want to tell more stories. I never know when I start a book what's going to happen next. I just keep writing and find out what happens. And if there's one prayer that I've had for all these readers of the Christy Miller and Sierra Jensen and College Years and Katie Weldon books, is that they would draw closer and closer to God's heart. That's all I've ever wanted. That's what I keep praying for you. 
And I pray that you enjoy the stories and that you enjoy the characters. And I want to say thank you. Thank you for being my reader friends. God bless.